the next two weeks on days of our lives are packed with dramatic twists and intriguing developments. Subscribe and stay tuned for more updates on days of our lives. Week of July 1st 5 EJ Dimera narrowly manages to keep Melinda Trask from revealing the truth about Jude Dimera, also known as Jude Brady's paternity. To ensure her silence, EJ fiercely negotiates with Melinda and might even urge Kristen Dimera to offer her a job. Despite their rocky past, Kristen considers hiring Melinda for an executive position at Dimera Enterprises. Kristen also offers some advice to Ava Vitoli, who might also end up working at D.I. Mera. Meanwhile, Stefan D.I. Mera reminisces about his drunken night with Ava as he celebrates his reunion with Gabby Hernandez D.I. Mera. Gabby remains unaware of Stefan's fling with Ava while she was imprisoned, but secrets like these never stay hidden for long on soaps. Eventually, Gabby is bound to find out about Stefan's infidelity. Paulina Price is heartbroken as Chanel Dimera continues to keep her distance following her miscarriage. Paulina seeks updates from Kayla Johnson about Chanel's condition, but it's not the same as speaking directly to her daughter. Abe Carver becomes intrigued by a business proposal from Kate Roberts Brady, but their project soon hits a snag, causing delays. Jada Hunter delivers troubling news to Steve Johnson regarding his involvement in Clyde Weston's prison break, potentially leading to jail time for Steve. At Bayview, Melina Evans and Stephanie Johnson visit Robert Bobby Stein, also known as Everett Lynch. Stephanie lashes out at the smug Bobby, who still keeps Everett under control. Desperate for answers, Stephanie pushes Jada to question Bobby, who then makes a shocking revelation about a crime he can help solve. Jada shares Bobby's story with Rafe Hernandez, who might then assert he knows who killed Lee Shin, with Bobby even claiming responsibility. EJ Dimera holds a press conference, likely about Gabby's release, but Connie Vinisky reappears, possibly outraged if she still blames Gabby for Lee's death. Gabby stumbles upon Stefan in a heated argument with EJ, making her curious about Stefan's leverage over EJ. She might get Stefan to reveal the truth about Jude's paternity, gaining some power for herself. Brady Black decides to send Tate Black to an out-of-state lacrosse camp, which angers Tate. Even Teresa Donovan questions the necessity of the move, but Brady believes it's the best way to keep Tate and Holly Jonas apart. However, Brady's plan could backfire as Tate and Holly plan a secret 4th of July celebration and even consider running away together. Elsewhere, Alex Kiriaki seeks legal advice from Justin Kiriakis, who might suggest a prenuptial agreement before Alex and Teresa's wedding. Maggie Kiriaki surprises Xander Cook, possibly relating to his upcoming wedding to Sarah Horton. Eric Brady informs Nicole that he's leaving Salem immediately, which shocks and saddens her. It remains to be seen if Eric will actually depart or if the revelation of Jude's true paternity will change his plans at the last moment. Week of July 8, 12. Sarah Horton and Xander Cook continue to prepare for their wedding. Bonnie Kiriakis is enthusiastic about the idea of a double wedding, hinting that Alex and Teresa might join Xander and Sarah's ceremony. Bonnie decides to send out the invitation that Teresa trashed, ensuring that Xander's mother receives an invite to the wedding. Brady Black realizes that Teresa Donovan is overreacting to their son Tate's actions. When Tate seeks Brady's help, Brady feels compelled to intervene, believing that Tate should learn from his teenage mistakes and that Teresa should give him space. However, Brady might reconsider after learning about Tate's upcoming plans. Given Tate's history of making questionable choices, Brady could change his mind about letting him handle things independently. Will Tate and Holly Jonas manage to keep their summer plans a secret from Teresa, or will she find out and intervene once again? Paulina Price is determined to get answers about her daughter Chanel Dupree's miscarriage. She questions why a specialist wasn't called immediately at the hospital and hopes the specialist can shed light on what caused the miscarriage. Paulina struggles with guilt and wonders if she bears any responsibility. Chad Dimera continues his quest to uncover the identity of the mysterious woman linked to recent events. 
Will Chad succeed in solving the mystery, or is he embarking on a wild goose chase? Now incarcerated in federal prison, Clyde Weston hopes to have his murder conviction overturned, although he still faces drug charges that could keep him behind bars. Steve Johnson confesses to aiding Clyde's escape, a move Justin Karayakis hoped would result in leniency, considering Steve was protecting his son. Will John Black and Ava Vitoli allow Steve to face the consequences alone, given Ava's role in releasing Clyde? Melina Evans and Stephanie Johnson's involvement Melina Evans enlists Stephanie Johnson to assist in dealing with Everett Lynch, a task that could prove challenging and dangerous. Stay tuned, like and share our video to get the latest updates and spoilers on soap opera.